Welcome to Backroom Breakdown with Lauren, your analysis of local, state, and federal politics. This is DITV's new weekly politics segment where I'll discuss important political events impacting Iowa City. I'm your host, Lauren Johnson. Congress is currently debating whether to raise the national debt ceiling to try and avoid the U.S. defaulting on loans. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen wrote in a Wall Street Journal op-ed that critical payments for government programs could see indefinite delays. Quote, nearly 50 million seniors could stop receiving Social Security checks for a time. Troops could go unpaid. Millions of families who rely on the monthly child tax credit could see delays. America, in short, would default on its obligations, end quote. The federal debt refers to the money the government owes for spending on various payments, including Social Security, tax refunds, and military salaries. Congress is debating raising the debt ceiling because the deficit for this year is too high. If the national debt ceiling is not raised, Americans could stop seeing necessary and expected government payments. Raising it allows the government to pay for already existing legal obligations and does not provide a blank check for future payments. Defaulting would be an unprecedented situation. The debt ceiling has been raised 78 times since 1960, 49 times during Republican presidential terms, and 29 times during Democratic ones. In response, Iowa Senator Joni Ernst made a presentation to the Senate, claiming Democrats want to, quote, borrow more money on the backs of Iowans to finance their partisan expenditures, end quote. Ernst ran on the slogan, make them squeal, referring to reducing government spending and the deficit, but every year she has been in government, spending deficits have increased. Even before the pandemic, deficits ballooned in former President Trump's term after the 2017 tax cuts. Ernst's Wednesday presentation consisted of using the popular card game Uno to present the complex topic of government spending. Her board consisted of enlarged Uno cards relabeled with terms such as stimulus spending bill. Then she put up a meme consisting of a man representing Democrats drawing 25 UNO cards with a special wild card that made him do it labeled cut unnecessary spending or draw 25. She continued with other versions of the card, including one that said, quote, put the brakes on boondoggles or draw 25, end quote. Appearing to acknowledge the absurdity, Ernst stated, quote, it may sound a bit oversimplified, but it isn't, end quote. She ended the speech with a plea for D.C. to, quote, skip the spending until we are sure Washington isn't wasting a single dollar, uno, end quote. Her speech did not seem to support raising the debt ceiling. As of Tuesday, the U.S. House has passed a bill to suspend the debt limit through December 2022 on party lines. It now faces the Senate. Thanks for tuning in to Backroom Breakdown with Lauren. I'll be back next week with the latest political news affecting Iowa City, Iowa, and the USA. I'm Lauren Johnson. Have a great day.